Thank you for visiting Lisa's Lair. I'm glad you stopped by. Thank you to everyone who helped me fix some of the problems with my avatar that I was experiencing when I tried to do an update of my avatar. Now, some of you were telling me about the shine. I actually put on an entirely different skin because when I went to the HUD um, for the Slink Hourglass, um, it, some of you told me to just um, turn off the shine and I had turned off the shine. So I guess that um, shiny element on that particular skin was actually how that skin is. Um, so I thank you very much for telling me to check that. Also, um, some of you were telling me about, um, you know, uh, how um, the avatar's head would be. So when I put on an entirely different skin, I did not have the problem anymore with the head of the avatar not matching the body. But this is an older skin from many years ago. And I noticed that some of you were saying that the older skins just don't have the detail of the new bomb skins. But it's what was in my inventory, so I put it on because the $900 skin applier that I had purchased from the skinnery, you all see how that turned out. It just did, the mesh head didn't even um, appear brown at all. So I want to thank everyone for your expertise. I took off the sunglasses so you could see. And I appreciate those of you who have um, sent me notes in World and things like that and told me different things to try. Um, because a lot of times when you're watching these tutorials on YouTube for Avatar um, updates, they're going so quickly. A lot of people are labeling it a tutorial because I know that gets the clicks, but they're not really explaining what they're actually doing while they're doing it. They're just kind of, okay, here, watch me. And then they're click, 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 click on the avatar and you're watching the avatar transform, but they're not really saying, okay, then I did this, then I did that. And they're not explaining the steps in which you have to do each um, each thing in order to get the result that you're seeing on the screen. So I've noticed that with a lot of the tutorials. So thank you very, very much for those of you who sent me notes. Um, and at least um, it is a little different than the the uh, classic mesh avatar that you have seen on screen for a long time. Avatar is standing just so that you can see um, the skin. As I mentioned, I used an older skin that I've had in my inventory for years. This is the Slink Hourglass body. And that is the skin. It really doesn't have much detail or contouring, but a lot of the older skins just don't have that. Um, so just wanted to show that to you, um, but at least I, I don't have the problem that I had in the other video where the mesh head was an entirely different color than the body. One thing I wanted to show you is that when I went into the HUD, it says full face motion capture animations, and then it says expressions. Um, they just don't seem to be natural to me. And maybe because I have both categories activated, but I wanted to show you that as well. I did take, um, also, I still don't really like the eye shape. Um, but I did take off the eyes that are for the mesh head that were on. And so I think that corrected that problem. So I guess the system eyes are the ones that are on right now. These are the hands. So thank you to everyone who um, sent me notes on how to fix the hands. So this is the skin selection with brows, and I took off, um, as I said, the option that was in the HUD for this mesh head of brows. And so that kind of eliminated that strange two-color brow situation. The mouth moves very strangely to me, um, but I think that that's just something 
that comes with the HUD. Um, but I want to also mention to you guys that when people are new to Second Life and other people who are experienced, I've been in Second Life since 2012, start making a huge deal about, oh, your avatar has to look like this or your avatar, you have to be, you cannot look like a noob. If you're new, there's no reason that you should feel paranoid about looking like you're new to this game. I have been in this game for eight years. It is no big deal. And so sometimes I think that even the adults in the game operate with these high school mentalities. And in high school, people focused on what your hair looked like, what your clothes looked like, what you looked like, what your skin looked like. All of that happened in junior high and high school. And I see adults in Second Life operating with those mentalities. And it's strange that they cling to those mentalities because I'm sure they're not focusing on that when they're meeting people in their own lives away from the virtual space but then they get into the virtual space and suddenly they start clinging to these high school junior high school mentalities about oh you don't want to look like this or nobody will talk to you that's something that's a conversation that 13 year olds have in the cafeteria oh what kind of jeans are those what kind of shoes are those oh you know are, is it this brand is it that brand that that's for 13 year olds so i'm just you know i just think that those of us you know who are whole adults in this virtual space really need to understand the conversations that we're having and how that really sounds and why would you adopt that junior high mentality now there's nothing wrong with being artistic and wanting to do a lot with your avatar nothing wrong with that at all but trying to impose on other people that they should be obsessed like you are with everything about their avatar i just think that takes the fun out of being in Second Life for a lot of people who may be new and they don't really know, you know, the culture of Second Life. So I just think, you know, when I see a lot of tutorials and people are like, okay, this is for beginners and all they're focusing on is what the avatar looks like and not really sharing how to build relationships, how to find communities. It's just kind of unfortunate because this Second Life is more than what avatars look like. So with that said, I know that my video was asking for advice because I know a lot of people do want advice on that. But I also think that it is a point worth mentioning um, to everyone is that this game is not just what the avatars look like. We're people behind um, these avatars who like to connect and like to find shared interests with other people. So keep that in mind when you're trying to instruct um, beginners um, not to make the focus uh, avatar appearance and really give them um, other advice on how to enjoy Second Life. Thanks for visiting Lisa's Lair. And comment below if you have any tips for me um, and also if there's any topics that you want me to cover in future videos.